Hello everybody, this is Racer Good Nine, also known as David. Um, so I figured I would go ahead and make a RuneScape video because I haven't made one in about a week or so and I said that I'm going to do these more often. This is still not often enough, but I'm going to be doing them. Um, and um, I want to cover, like I used to do, I used to cover every uh, holiday event that would go on on RS3. And I might get into RuneScape, uh, cla uh, <laughs> not RuneScape Classic, old school and see what's going on there too because I know most people on RuneScape, on, uh, YouTube, sorry, I can't speak today. Most people on YouTube that watch RuneScape videos are fans of old school. So I'm going to try to release old school and RS3 on my channel just so that way I can gain a fan base. Um, and then after I make this video, I'm probably going to go record a couple Warhawk videos because that's the only thing that keeps my channel alive. Um, so yeah, uh, real quick, just going to talk about videos for like 10 seconds. I promise I'll actually, you know, do stuff in this video. But I released a Warhawk video about last week or the week before. It got about 200 views. I released my RuneScape video, got about 35 to 40, which is actually better than usual. Usually they get like 20. I want to be getting, you know, a thousand views per video, but that won't be until down the road. Uh, and then I released a GTA 5 video where I was talking about the Disney movie Moana. Got about 19 views. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I expected. That, that should be about about accurate no one wants to watch a video about a disney movie so i might retitle it to trick a lot of you to watch it um and then i'll just be talking about a disney movie the whole time so yeah uh the 2016 christmas event has been pretty terrible so far so october or i mean uh, halloween the halloween event for runescape of 2016 i missed i quit playing for about a month because i was really busy and i missed it um i don't know what they did but i'm gonna look it up and hopefully i can do the next halloween event next year um, Thanksgiving, I did it here on old school and, or I mean on RS3, I did not do it on old school. I'm not sure what they had going on, but I'm going to try to do both games for every event in the future. Um, and here it was pretty boring. It was the chase around the Turkey thing, which I did last year. Um, and I already got all the, you know, they were just giving you emotes and crap from the previous years. So all I got was an XP lamp. Um, it was still fun though. It was still fun to do it. I did it with my sister. It was a good time. Um, I'm happy they do events. I can't really complain. I'm happy they're a game that does events for holidays. It's always something I loved about RuneScape. But they really need to make more stuff. Now that being said, that's very ironic because this year's event is ass. Basically what it is is you've got the advent calendar from last year, which is like, you know, you click on it, you get a certain prize. They're usually kind of ass. Um... And then also, they've got this thing where you enter this little cabinet. I just did this today, actually. I'm doing it right now. I haven't done it before. Um, you enter this cabinet, and Santa assigns you a random... I don't know if it changes, but I'm going to have to look it up. I'm going to have to get more information on this. But today, he sent me back to the 2007 uh, holiday event, which I remember doing this in 2007. It's where, you know, you assemble snowmen and stuff, but it's got a little twist. Um, and then I believe... Let's look at the little thing here, but I believe coming up... See a little community, a little snowman right there. Um, Santa has opened up past Christmas events. Santa has opened up. Revisit them, but look out for something strange. Meet Santa in the land of snow, entering the Christmas covers. Revisit the events after you completed them for bonus skilling activities. So that's pretty cool. And then on the 19th of December, it says something is wrong with the past events. Help Santa figure out what's wrong. So, yeah, we're going to do that on the 19th. I'll make a video of that. Um, vote. I don't really want to vote. What's this for? Uh, maybe later. Yeah, I'll probably vote for this later. Okay. Um, but, yeah, so literally they are completely recycling old events, which is kind of cool because, you know, they were really fun and these are good events, but I wish they would make something new. Now, old school, I haven't checked it out, but usually they make new things, and I've only done, like, two or three old school things, but they're cool because you get all the rewards from all the previous years, and you get to wear, like, party hats and Halloweens and all the crap I can't afford in RuneScape 3, so that's always fun. Um, other than that, they've got winter weekends, which is just kind of like where on the weekend you get certain bonuses. Let's see, what is this weekend? That's almost over. Skilling. Uh, so it's okay. Yeah, well, I don't really skill that much, but um, oh, in other news, real quick, I'm sorry to waste all your time. I still haven't moved. There, I'll move just so you say I can move. Um, I've gotten 70 ranged, so I went ahead and bought a dark bow with dark arrows because dark arrows are really powerful and hella cheap. And um, I also got this Sarah, Sarah Domin, Sarah Domin, I don't know how to say his name, Murmur which is the ranged amulet. It's really good. And I found out the dark bow is actually kind of ass. I thought it was going to be great because I remember back in the day, like back in 2008, it was really good. But apparently it's really ass now because it's so slow. Um, dark arrows are really powerful, but the bow's just so slow. I have these energized arm cannons that I got from one of the world events in the past. It was the one where uh, you were at the heart and you had to do some crap there and like 
fix up some crap, and I didn't do enough of it, so I only got tier 70. They had tier 65, tier 70, and tier 75, uh, so they're only tier 70. So they're not quite as good as armadillo um, crossbows. But they're good for now. They're free. So I'm using these, and I've got uh, broad tip bolts because I don't have high enough range to utilize the uh, royal bolts, which are actually the cheapest bolts out there, and they're really good, so that's kind of crazy to me. But yeah, this will do for now. Um, I just bought myself some armadillo boots. I still need to get the gloves. Other than that, I've got the uh, chain skirt, the chest plate, and the helmet, um, and the archer's ring. And also, I want to get my defense up to 80 or 85, ultimately, so I can get the, uh, I forget what they're called, but the armor from God Wars Dungeon 2, really, really high-level armor, um, highest non-corruptible, or uh, degradable, sorry, highest non-degradable armor, which is a must for me. I hate degradable shit. I will never wear it, um, but they're like, you know, 10 mil a piece for, for some, like 50 mil for other ones. They're really expensive. Um, there was actually a dude, sorry, I'm sorry, I will do the holiday event, uh, if you guys want to skip ahead, that's fine, I'm just going to tell a little story, so today I was at the Grand Exchange with my sister, and there was this guy, you know, doubling money, doubling money, and I was like, what a little troll, how many times have you guys seen someone doubling money, someone trades in money and they log out, right, but this guy was actually doing it, or at least people are claiming he was doing it, I figured they were his friends, but I figured, what the hey, I have three mil, I may as well try it, gave him two mil, he gave me six mil back, I was like, holy cats, I had my sister trade him some of my money. She gave him six mil. He gave her seventeen mil back. So at this point, I was up to like, I don't, I don't know. But I did it one more time. And anyways, I went from two mil up to twenty-seven mil. So then, I figured, all right, I'm gonna try some really big because he was giving money to tons of other people too, right? It wasn't just me. And I was doing small amounts, so I figured he wouldn't try to rip me off. What he was doing, I knew he was a hacker, but what he was doing is he was doing some here, some there, so people would start to trust him. And once he got a big payout, he would just disappear. We all knew it. But we were all, you know, just taking benefits of it while we while we could. And just even though it was risking, we were kind of I was kind of I was risking the money that he had given me already. I wasn't risking all of it, so I would make money regardless. Um, but I gave him fifteen mil uh, and at that point, you know, someone else gave him a hundred mil and he didn't trade it back to me, and then he logged out, and I was really upset at first, because I could have had 27 mil, and now I'm down to like 14, but then I was like, you know what, at the start of this, I had two, so really, I won anyway, I mean, he took 15 mil from me, but it was 15 mil he gave me, so I can't really be upset, but if I wasn't greedy, I'd be at 27 mil right now, and I could have gotten some of those uh, God Wars dungeon armors, but uh, yeah, instead, I bought some Armadil, um, I'm at like 12 mil in the bank, so whatever, I want to build up my money, I need to do Slayer, because I'm really poor for my level, I'm um, level 103, and I've got, like, now I've got, like, 10 mil in the bank. And, you know, people my level usually have, like, a lot more. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, anyway, I'm sorry. I am sorry. Most of you have probably already stopped watching. I haven't started the event. Um, I might put a little disclaimer at the beginning, like, fast forward to this time to actually see it or something. But basically what you have to do is you shake your snow globe that she gives you, and you get snow, or you collect snow from the piles. Then you build snowmen, right? And then you add a hat to the snowmen, and they start hopping around. But these little imps are, like, going on strike. So that's what's different from the original one. I don't think originally the imps were going on strike. So they're going on imps. They're not They're not going on strike. They're not helping. So we need to talk to the snow queen to find out what's going on. All right. I'm glad you finished making your snowman. I'm terribly sorry the way that imps have treated you. Please let Santa know what's been going on. All right. So that's the change. I'll allow you to build a special snowman south of me after you've helped him out. Okay. Thank you. I'll head to Santa now and tell him everything that has happened. All right. How do I get to Santa? I think I go back in this Christmas cupboard. Yep. Oh, so I actually already did the event. Um, I think we might be able to go visit a different event. I'm not sure. Maybe it's like one every day. But let's go back to Santa's Christmas neighborhood. Um, so basically, it's like every Christmas event from the past. You can see here all the different ones. Um, and they all have a change. They're all kind of messed up. So that's what you know Santa's trying to figure out. Hey, Santa, I went to the land of snow. They kept rambling on about unions and shit. Unions and shit, you say. I'm amazed they've managed to get someone to represent them. That's right. Why on earth would someone represent them? They're treated so well. It's really unlike them. We have a good re working relationship. They're a bit mischievous. They've never denied helping. I'm so sorry about this purplish elf. Oh, I changed my name to purplish elf, and my sister is bluish elf. We just want to be matching, and you know, you can change your name, so. Don't worry, Santa. And my, my usual username is waterstuff1, but I've changed it like 12 times. I promise you a reward for being good this year, so I'll open up another wardrobe to the south. This one will take you to the little town of Dehominen. De Dehominenheim. Hopefully nothing goes wrong with that celebration. Well, you know there will. Santa, you have lost another one of your hats again? Sadly, 
does this every year. You should really pay closer attention to him. Oh, Salty. I said Santa. Unless you want to be put through the naughty list this year, I think you'll find something hat. Sorry, I couldn't read that. I just fucked up. Um, okay. So, I don't know if we get to go through each single wardrobe or what, but it looks like we're going to go through another one. So, wait, I got to talk to this guy first. Hey there. Hey, did Santa ask you to help me? He sure did. He's such a swell guy, that Santa. He sure is. So kind. <laughs> yup. Generous, too. Sweet, attractive, great with kids. Did you notice he lost weight? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so this... Collect my belongings inside the dungeon. Snowman accessories. Snowmaker. Self-identification trinket. Gracious and glorious ice skates. Is that everything? Salty the hat. I'm pretty sure I have a salty hat. Okay. So I'm sorry I'm not reading everything, but we're going to see. All right, which one is this? Which year is this? I don't think I've done this event in the past. I'm pretty sure I have not. Uh, so it looks like it's dungeoneering, basically. We just need to run around and find this stuff. What is this? A switch. And I'm not sure how to check my timer on my recording. So uh, I'm just going to try to keep track. And if it, the video gets too long, I might end it. But I could always edit it later, I suppose. All right. So I'm not exactly sure what we're supposed to do here. Does tapping them do anything? Oh, here's some snowman accessories. All right. Oh. Something weird's going on. All right, that is weird. I don't like this. <laughs> Shit's just disappearing. The sequence is reset. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to tell you right now, anything with puzzle solving takes me literally forever to do, so this is going to be terrible. It's blocked by three icicles. All right, is there a way for me to fucking break the icicles? Or do one of these things have some shit in them? The icicle cracks. Oh, no. We have to do these in an order. All right, well, let's find out which one's first. This one, hopefully, right? Maybe it's just a big circle. Did that work? All right, let's try this one. All right. Let's try this one first again. This is the first one, right? Okay, so that one is first. Nope. Now I just got to find the second one. Do we have to do all these? This is awful. There's got to be a better way. There's got to be. We're going to figure this out. Okay, guys. So I figured out what I need to do. I need to tap this and then look at what order they light up in and then do it. One, two, three, four. All right. One of those f shits on the door melted away, and now we got two more to go. Let's get it. One more. All right. Ice Skull 2 has melted away onto the next part. All right, so it's like this, 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 F. Fucking shit. All right, let's watch it again. All right, here we go. Here we go. This one, that one, that one, this one, that one, that one. Oh, I forgot to go back here. All right. One, down here to two, over here to three, Down here to four. 
back down here to 5, back over here to 6. Yes! The final icicle melts away, the door is unlocked. Alright, let's get it. Let's go, let's go! Now we just need to get through this next room. Snow Angel statue. The chill of this room makes you feel like you have lost all of your energy. Oh, great. Can already tell this is going to be fun. What do we have to do? What is that? Uh. Oh, we're crawling. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's like red light, green light, or whatever. Alright. Just need to wait until he turns around. Crawl over here. Do, do, do. Is he turning? Is he turning? Come on. Huh? Ah. Uh. Go, 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 go. Crawl, crawl, crawl. Ah. Uh, why do you crawl so slow? Why do you crawl so slow? Why did he turn around so fast that time? Fuck. Sometimes he turns around really fast, I feel like. Alright, should I try here? I feel like I can make it. Yeah, let's try it. Go, 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 go. All right, I don't know about making it to this one. I'm really not sure. I mean, that time he was turned around for freaking forever. But this time he'll probably turn around like when I'm right out in the fucking middle. Oh, no, he didn't. All right, now let's just touch him. There we go. Go, 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 go. Touch him, touch him, touch him, touch him. Touch him, touch him, touch him, touch him, touch him. <laughs> I was ready for him to turn around, too. <laughs> uh, Alright. <clears throat> what is it now? Ooh. Seal of... Whatever. Oh, this looks like fun. Right, that time we fell into the... We turned into a seal. Oh, shit. Whoa! Whoa! That is very delayed. That's delayed as shit. Alright. That is very... Shitty. Come on, seal. Uh, right through the middle. Shoot! No! Fuck! That. <laughs> I need to. Pre <laughs> Sorry about that. I need to press it earlier, I guess. I need to press it, like, way in advance. Oh. Fuck. Alright. We got this. Five tries minimum. There's no way I will not make it this time. I've got determination. We just gotta shoot this gap. Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh. Go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 Yes! Yes! Oh. I am literally... I feel like I'm not going to enjoy this. This doesn't look that bad. There we go. So it's... What was it? Second and third? All right. Now we got some ice skates. We've definitely tried all of these, right? All right. We are going to try the third one this time. Oh, it's Salty Crabs or whatever his name is. Use the bucket to catch Salty. You'll know when the time is right to use the bucket. Alright, I actually think this is the 2010 Christmas event, which I never did. No! Salty has time to reset. Alright, I fucked it up. Now I just need to find him. There he is, little guy. Let's go. Come on, Salty. Your ass is mine. He escapes. Okay, I guess I have to do this a couple times. It looks like he has a health bar. How many times do I have to catch this little guy? Alright, one of these. It's going to be my boy Salty. There he is. Coming at you, Salty. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Get his ass. He escapes. Alright, his health bar went down. I think we only have to do this like two more times, maybe. Sandy Cheeks, Mr. Krabs. Oh, by the way, if you guys want to play with me, you can, uh, feel free to add me. Oh, fuck. There he is. Fuck. Catch him. Catch him. Yes. Look at that. Salty Claws in a bucket. <laughs> uh, I had a Salty Claws hat originally. I feel like, is that what I'm getting now? Alright, now I need to tell Santa that this thing was all fucked up and see what he says. Alright, so 2007 and 2010 were fucked up. Alright, bottomless bag, snow imps. So I believe this is the last one until the uh, fourth one on the 19th comes out. I believe so. I don't know if we get to do all these different cabinets. Alright, so we're going to go talk to these wizards. See what's going on here. Towering Feast. I don't know what year this is. Alright, this is the 2011 event um, and I did not get to do this one either. I wasn't playing back then when this one happened. Um, and this is in the Wizard's Tower, which is awesome. Because I love the Wizard's Tower. 
All right, let's see what's going on. Oh, my elements. Oh, thank the elements. Have the guild wizards not offered to help? The wizard guilds, the wizards from the wizard guild are criticizing the damn wizard tower wizards. <laughs> Chef Chris and Kringle need some help. Chef Chris Kringle. Too busy making sure all the wizards have portals to get them quickly. Too many wizard mind, mind bombs. <laughs> Everyone's getting drunk. They need an Uber. Hired some excellent chefs to cook the banquet. <clears throat> I need to run to get them some damn ingredients. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at all these fun tasks we get to do, you guys. All right, so let's go to the basement for this first one. See what they want want us to do. Chris Kringle. So he's going to teach me how to use these snow emitters. Otherwise, I might fucking hurt myself, he said. All right, so we're going to freeze water in the Arctic plain and shit it out all over the floor. So that way, uh, it's a nice nice uh you know a nice atmosphere all right this looks super damn confusing uh so i'm probably gonna fuck it up but i think i don't know we'll figure it out all right so how do i place them somewhere okay i just click do 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 how do i know if i'm doing this right or not do 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 am i supposed to have three emitters around the three is that what that means or i need snow to touch it on three sides don't really understand do 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 i think it means snow touching it on one side i don't think i'm doing this right do 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 all right am i doing this right or not okay i think this is pretty good right put snow emitters near the numbers that's what i should have actually listened when this fuckhead was talking to me but uh okay i'd like to start placing the shits please i don't know if there's a reset button i just exited and came back in that seems like not the right way to do it all right, so we need to cover the entire. F All right, so now I've finally covered the entire floor. It says I should go talk to Isidore that I'm and tell him that I'm done. So let's talk to my boy Isid Isidore right here. The snow banquet is covered. It looks great. Everyone will be nice and cold and freeze their tits off for the whole time. All right, I think Chris also needs help. So let's talk to him next. All right, we need to talk to Kringle. Okay, Chris is the dumbass. Kringle is the one that knows what's going on. What's horrible smell? Oh, you human, you smell like shit. All right, thanks, bro. You're playing around with a cannon. Yeah, they have a dwarf multi-cannon up here. <laughs> All right. Um, speak to Chris. Okay, so now I need to speak to Chris, even though Chris told me to speak to Kringle. So it looks like these dudes are trolls, right? So let's see what these trolls know how to cook. Five enchanted Christmas puddings, two dragon eyes, two demon claws, sparks from a wand, and some Christmas spirit. Let's get the puddings first. Jumping around the kitchen. I don't see any puddings jumping around. Are they hiding somewhere? Or something. Okay, so let's check all the shit and see if there's any puddings in any of these areas. We're gonna check out here and then go look back here, maybe. Oh. One jumping pudding. Now we just need a second jumping pudding. No puddings here. Haha. Two puddings. All right, now let's go talk to my boy Chris. See what else we need. What? Can I have a Christmas spirit jar? All right. Said he needs three more puddings. Okay, there's one. Okay, I see. You can actually see them jumping. One in the sack. All right. 
There's another one in that pot. This pot is literally filled with puddings. Uh, I'm not sure how many you need, so I'm going to grab a bunch more. I think maybe this is it. Oh, you don't need any more. Okay, let's talk to him. Hand in our stuff. That's all the puddings. All right, talk to him, see what else we need. What do I need to collect still? Dragon eyes. Uh, talk to Talborn about this. Oh, fuck. Demon claws. Speak to Wizard Grazig. Wand. Mozgog. Christmas spirit. Let's get some Merry Christmas from this guy. Yeah. We got that Christmas spirit. Can we literally wish Merry Christmas on someone three times? We can. <laughs> Alright, now we need to go talk to the other people about the other shit. So, there's the Christmas spirit. Alright, we need to go upstairs to do this other stuff. To find the other ingredients. So we're going to go upstairs. That guy said thanks. That guy said thanks. He didn't know that that was a thing. Uh, or her, witch queen chick. I'm going to send her a friendly little message. I'm going to say, of course. All right. Who are we supposed to talk to for the other stuff? I believe they're all upstairs. I don't think it was any of these people. This guy, maybe? Does he have some Christmas stuff for us? Eyes of a dragon? Um... If you don't, uh, look over there, a thingamawhat. Where? <laughs> I told him there was a thingamawhat over there and stole his dragon eyes. They really are as, cr you really are as crazy as I say. <laughs> All right. So now we need some more stuff. So let's try going even higher. See if there's any other people over here. This dude's got some stuff for us. And this is actually, I just realized this is the old school. This is the old school uh, wizard house. Fucking wizard tower. This isn't like the new one. This is way better than the, than the uh, new one. I don't like the new one. Yoink. Grabbed his claw. Yoink, yoink. 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 Okay, I gotta do emotes to uh, annoy him. Hey there, buddy. Let's try something crazy. Right, we need to do happy emotes. Okay. So, laughing. Laughing seems to be a good one. Jumping for joy seems to be a good one. Jigging will probably be a good one. Dancing will probably be a good one. He really doesn't like happiness. He's pleased with the entertainment. Blowing a kiss will probably make him mad, right? Oh, that made him really mad. <laughs> Happiness, cheering. Yay! That guy. <laughs> Waving at him. Hey there, buddy. That'll probably piss him off. <laughs> no, it didn't really work. Um, laughing. Oh, that really got him mad. Got another claw. <laughs> Alright, I believe we only needed two claws. So, And we got the wand from my boy Mozag or whatever. We got the dragon eyes. So now let's go talk to Chris and Kringle and see if that's all the shit we needed. And I know these holiday events would be a lot better with music. So when I'm done making the... Uh, when I'm done making the video, I'll probably come back and listen to the music. Because I love RuneScape music. It's literally the best. All right. Oh, he wants me to speak to Chris. Okay. All right, Chris, I got all this stuff. Hand in all this shit. All right. Now I need to speak with Kringle now that we've done that. Got all the stuff. <laughs> Said I'm smelly. All right, he keeps calling this a cooking device, but it's obviously... Kringle was drunk when he wrote it. Okay. 
All right, claws not on top of eyes. So eyes on top of claws. Spirit on the top. All right, this doesn't seem too hard. All right, so first the puddings. Then the claws, then the spice, and then the Christmas spirit. Cannon look loaded. Yeah, boy, let's watch you, uh, let's watch this. He's going to cook with the cannon full of crap, so we're going to see how that goes. <laughs> All right, let's see how it goes. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Yeah, that really didn't fucking work. <laughs> that Matrix dive. Good job, Kringle. I told you so. Haha. <laughs> All right. All right, so. So now we have to go do our another task. He was saying he cooks better than me, but I got that cooking skill cape and he doesn't. All right, now we need to go help wizard uh, Grayzig or whatever his name is. So I'm pretty sure he's up on the top floor. So we're gonna head on up there, see what he needs. Uh, he's the guy you do the imp thing with, I'm pretty sure, right? So, probably something to do with imps, which will probably be fun. <laughs> All right, let's see what he needs. So, there's no waiters. All right, I'm just skipping through here because everyone's hat is missing and they're all mad and I need to get, I need to get these imps. All right, so we need to look for an imp. Oh, it is. <laughs> all right, so he was like, you want me to tell you a good hiding space? And the little guy was like, sure, tell me. And then I just said the spell to teleport him back. So I really kind of tricked him. That wasn't very nice. Um, but that's what happens, I guess. All right, so we're going to look around in all these bookshelves. Probably one in here somewhere. Oh, there is an imp in here. Can't you see I'm reading? You're not even holding a book. <laughs> All right, got another one. Now we just need to find the other ones. Um, check. Oh, check oak tree. I was gonna. Say <laughs> I was gonna say it said check instead of chop. So we'll try this out. See how that goes. All right. Uh, okay, this imp actually has the hat also. So we're looking for the wizard hat and we're looking for the imp. So I'm going to take him and get the hat back in the process. That's kind of a win-win situation. We're going to run over here and there's another one. All right, so here he is here in the fountain. Uh, frozen to death, <laughs> almost frozen to death. So now let's go back up there and talk to Grayzig or Grayzag or whatever his name is, and tell him that we have gotten all the imps for him and got his hat back or the other dude's hat back. So yeah, where is he? There he is. Let's tell him we got all the shit. Found all the imps. Yep, and his hat also. <clears throat> He's saying you should use snow imps next time. Yeah, snow imps are usually the ones that you use for the uh, that kind of stuff. All right, I believe this is the last person we have to help. Help with decorations. Decorations keep escaping. <laughs> All right, decorations escape. Catching in that escape, that'd be appreciated. All right, so we just need to get decorations from the attic. I didn't even know there was an attic in Wizard Tower. Apparently there is. 
All right, she's going to pick up the box and take it to the portal. Pick up any decorations that escape. Doesn't seem like it should be too hard. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's hard. All right, there he goes. Oh, he's really going. They are really going. Okay, uh, do they disappear or do they just kind of run away? Okay, it doesn't seem that bad. Oh, they keep, do they keep coming out? What the hell is going on? I believe the animal's running for it. He's running for it. Get him, get him, get him. Why is this actually so hard? It's really hard to click on him. I don't think I've really missed any, have I? There's only two left. Come here, you little guy. And this is the last one. All right. I got all the decorations that were escaping. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I didn't drop any items on the floor. <laughs> all right. I helped her get all this stuff. Oh, I need to get them all before she leaves. Oh, I'm I'm terrible. Okay. I can do this. And another one. Fuck. 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 Oh, there's that one all the way over there. There he is. Little bastard. That's not what I meant to do. I literally can't click on it. What the fuck? Clicking everywhere but where he is. This is bullshit. All right. <laughs> Somehow she was stuck and she didn't leave the portal. So it gave me like five minutes to click on that one little thing so she should have left already so that was kind of cheap but it's okay i did it otherwise i would have had to try like 50 times all right now she can decorate the thing happy to help go and see sword door now all right so we're gonna go back to the main floor and talk to that original wizard that we talked to now that we've helped out everyone with all their different damn tasks and see what's going on all right all the tasks are complete are you ready for the banquet yes i am i would love to go to the banquet all right, let's see how this works. We've got uh, the Christmas pudding, all the other crap. All right. Actually, this is a pretty sweet banquet. We've even got Timmy down here. Just called the waiters cute. <laughs> Snow imps. Uh, oh. <laughs> the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> all right now i just need to go tell santa the good news um uh, we can probably go in there for like combat xp or some crap so now we're just gonna exit and go tell santa that everything is all good in the hood but it's a little weird because stuff was missing um yeah i'm not sure why everything's all fucked up but it is all right to so talk to santa claus towering feast was amazing actually yeah it did all seem normal i guess all right an ice staff an ice shield and an ice bow and ice sword override, a snow globe, a snow drobe emote, bonus going locations in the land of snow and seal sliding in the island games and a towering feast. All right, guys. So this concludes my video. Um, overall, we got to replay the 2007, 2010, and 2011 Christmas events. Uh, we got a snow globe, which I already had, but apparently I lost it. Let me see if I can send this to Diego. 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 Dagno. So usually I send all my stuff there that I can just because I don't want to, you know, carry all that crap around with me. Low battery. All right. But um, as far as Christmas events goes, this is kind of crappy. They pretty much just redid all the old ones. I guess they did have kind of a twist to them, but I don't know. And we got one emote out of it, which is this. So let's see how this looks. <laughs> all right. Not a bad emote, actually. Little penguin plopped out on my head. Um, I mean, it could be worse. There have been some years, like like the Thanksgiving. I think the Thanksgiving ones are kind of more lame because they did the same thing. Uh, but really, nothing compares to how the events used to be. They used to be crazy awesome. Um, but obviously, they can't, you know, it'd be a lot of work to do big-ass events like that every time. Um, we're going to do an old school. I'm going to do a video for the old school holiday event and see if that's any better. Um, but, yeah, if you guys haven't done this, uh, like you said, you can go back to these places and do some skilling stuff. So that would probably be, you know, helpful uh, for good bonus XP and stuff. Um, but other than that, you guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right.